Gary Johnson here, welcome to Fresh Manna. The word of the Lord for today comes from Job chapter 22, verse number 28. You shall also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto you. Now, most of the church world doesn't realize that what they are experiencing today is the direct results of the words that they have been speaking. James tells us that we literally frame our world with our words. What you decree will become what you experience. So if you don't like the way things have been going in your life, the first thing you need to do is you got to start making your words work for you. Proverbs 18, beginning at verse 20 in the Good News Bible says, you will have to live with the consequences of everything you say. What you say can preserve life or destroy it. So you must accept the consequences of your words. I'll add this, unless you repent for the wrong words that you have spoken. Proverbs 6, verse number 2 says, you are snared with the words of your mouth. You're taken with the words of your mouth. What snares you, what gets you into trouble is what you've been saying. Proverbs 12, verse 6 says, the words of the wicked are to lie in wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. What will deliver you? The mouth of the upright will deliver them. What's going to deliver you is your words. You need to be decreeing, I am free. I am healed. I am prosperous. I am victorious in the name of Jesus. And if you begin to declare that, even when it, you don't look like it, even when you don't feel like it, then your mouth will deliver you. Make your words work for you. 1 Peter 3, verse number 10 says, For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no guile. So if you want to enjoy a good life, even when you're surrounded by the negative circumstances that are around us today, if you want to enjoy a good life in spite of the negative circumstances, then do not say anything bad and do not say anything false. Make your words work for you in Jesus' name.